Our solar system is just a tiny part of the Milky Way galaxy which is very very big. There are many stars around our solar system, each one is a sun that's really really far away. A lot of stars have their own planets called exoplanets that go around them. Some stars are like our sun, they give warmth and light to the planets around them. Other stars are very different, they come in different sizes and some are brighter than others. They also last for different amounts of time. We are going to explore the stars that are closest to us. These stars are right outside our solar system. We'll learn about their secrets. We'll also think about if there could be life on other planets. This question has made people curious for hundreds of years. The Milky Way is a beautiful spiral galaxy. It has billions of stars. It stretches over 100,000 light years. That's a really, really long way. Our sun is in a quiet part of this huge galaxy. It's 26,000 light years away from the busy center of the galaxy. That's where most of the stars are crowded together. The stars we see in the night sky are like our neighbors in space. Each one is special, they have different sizes, temperatures and ages. This makes the stars very interesting. Red dwarf stars are smaller and cooler than our sun. They are the most common type of star in the Milky Way. Most of the stars in the galaxy are red dwarfs. Massive blue giants burn brightly but don't last very long. They have short lives compared to other stars. They often end in big explosions called supernovas. These explosions light up the galaxy. These explosions create heavy elements. These elements are important for making planets and life. The stuff that makes up planets and life is spread across space by these star explosions. By studying nearby stars and their planets, we can understand our place in space better. We can also learn about the chance of finding new worlds with life on them. Our first stop is Barnard Star. It's six light years away. This faint red dwarf is the fastest moving star we can see in the night sky. Even though it's close, Barnard Star is very faint. You need a telescope to see it. In 2018, astronomers found a planet going around Barnard Star. They named it Barnard Star B. This planet is at least three times bigger than Earth. It goes around its star every 233 days. It's in the habitable zone, but one side always faces the star. This makes the temperatures on the planet really different. This means there's probably no life there. Astronomers will keep studying Barnard Star. It's close, so it's a good way to study the air around exoplanets and look for signs of life. Finding this planet makes us think there might be many more planets than we thought. Our next stop is Sirius. It's the brightest star in our night sky, people call it the Dog Star. Sirius is 8.6 light years away from Earth. It's a cool system with two stars. Sirius A is a main sequence star, it shines with a bright white blue light, you can even see it in cities. Sirius B is a white dwarf, it's super dense, it has as much stuff as our sun but is only as big as Earth. It's a really interesting object in our sky. Sirius B's gravity is very strong, it makes Sirius B go around Sirius A every 50 years. Astronomers have been fascinated by this for a long time. The Sirius system appears in myths and legends from different cultures, especially in ancient Egypt. When Sirius rose in the sky, it was the same time as the Nile River flooded every year. This was important for growing food and survival in ancient Egypt. Sirius probably doesn't have life, but it's close and bright. This makes it good for astronomers to study. It gives scientists a lot of information. By studying Sirius we can learn how stars are born, live and die. This helps us understand stars like our sun. The Sirius system is close so, it might be a good place to send spaceships in the future. This could be the start of humans traveling beyond our solar system. Let's go to Wolf 1061. It's a cool red dwarf star 14 light years away from Earth. This star has three planets that we know of. One of them is in the habitable zone. This planet is called Wolf 1061c. It's a super Earth which means it's bigger than Earth. It goes around the star every 18 days. Wolf 1061c might have liquid water but that doesn't mean there's life. The other two planets, Wolf 1061b and Wolf 1061d, are probably not good for life as we know it. Wolf 1061b is a hot super-Earth, it's way too hot for life. Wolf 1061d is a cold super-Earth, it's way too cold. The Wolf. 1061 system shows us how different and complex planetary systems in our galaxy can be. We don't know if there's life on Wolf 1061c but finding it is a big step in finding habitable worlds. When we study it more, we might learn more about these interesting planets and if they could have life. Finding the Wolf. 1061 system makes us think that habitable planets might be more common in the universe than we used to think. We're going to Gliese 667 now. It's a system with three stars. It's 22 light years from Earth. 
This system has two red dwarfs that orbit close together, and another red dwarf that's farther away. Astronomers have found at least seven planets around Gliese 667c, three of them are in the habitable zone. These planets are called Gliese 667cf, Gliese 667ce, and Gliese 667cd. They are super-Earths, which means they're bigger than Earth. Finding three planets that could have life in one system is amazing. The habitable zone around Gliese 667c is much closer to the star because it's cooler and dimmer than our sun. Planets have to be closer to get enough energy for liquid water. This discovery has gotten astronomers and astrobiologists very interested. It's important to study the air around these planets in the future. The Gliese 667 system makes us think that there might be many more systems out there with lots of planets. Now we're going to Epsilon Eridani. It's 10.5 light years away. This is a young star, similar to our sun. Astronomers have been interested in it for a long time. In 2000 astronomers found a planet as big as Jupiter. They named it Epsilon Eridani b. Epsilon Eridani b orbits its star at 3.5 astronomical units. It takes 6.9 years for it to go around the star once. Epsilon Eridani b probably doesn't have life, but finding it makes us think there might be other planets in the system. Astronomers have found two asteroid belts around Epsilon Eridani. These belts are similar to the asteroid belt and Kuiper belt in our solar system. Finding these belts makes us think that Epsilon Eridani has a lot of different planets. Epsilon Eridani is young and close to us. This makes it a good target for future observations. Astronomers want to learn more about its planets and if any of them could have life. Our trip takes us to Tau Ceti, which is 12 light years away. Tau Ceti is a lot like our sun in size, how heavy it is and how bright it is. In 2012, astronomers found five planets orbiting Tau Ceti. Two of them are in the habitable zone. These planets are called Tau Ceti E and Tau Ceti F. They are super Earths, which means they're bigger than Earth. Tau Ceti E orbits the star every 168 days, and Tau Ceti F orbits every 642 days. Both planets are in the habitable zone. This is where the temperature is just right for liquid water. This discovery got astronomers and everyone else very excited. Tau Ceti became a very important target for future observations, but after studying it more astronomers aren't as optimistic as they were at first. We need to study it more to know if these planets can really support life. Our last stop is Proxima Centauri. It's only 4.24 light years away. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star. It's part of the Alpha Centauri system. In 2016, astronomers found a planet there. They named it Proxima Centauri b. It's a rocky planet a little bigger than Earth. It orbits the star every 11.2 days and is in the habitable zone. Scientists were very excited about this discovery. But there are some problems with Proxima Centauri b being habitable. It's tidally locked, which means one side always faces the star. Proxima Centauri is a flare star, so it releases bursts of strong radiation. These flares could destroy the planet's atmosphere. Even with these challenges, Proxima Centauri b is still a good target for future observations. Finding thousands of exoplanets has changed how we think about planetary systems. Looking for alien life is now a real scientific pursuit. Astronomers study the air around exoplanets to look for signs of life. These signs are special chemicals. They also look for signs of advanced civilizations. Finding even simple life beyond Earth would change how we see the universe. In the next few decades we'll see some amazing advancements in exoplanet research. The James Webb Space Telescope will study the air around exoplanets in great detail. The European Space Agency's PLATO mission will look for planets the size of Earth. NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will look for exoplanets using different methods. These missions will give us new information about exoplanets and if they could have life. The future of exoplanet research is very exciting. We might make discoveries that change how we see the universe. As our journey ends, we feel amazed and curious. The universe is huge and full of possibilities. Our search for alien life shows how curious we are. Every discovery makes us appreciate the universe even more. We have a long way to go but we're excited to keep exploring and learning the universe's secrets 